There is nothing in this world more dangerous than a hungry child. They get home from school and they rip apart the fridge in the pantry and you know you've got to get dinner on the go. Now, we're all busy, so we've got to get things happening straight away and we don't always have plenty of time to cook a great meal. But this is a great meal that you can put together in a matter of minutes that will be delicious and we'll keep those kids fed. I'll put a little bit of that spray oil on the bottom of the tray. This is an oven tray. And I like to put some baking paper straight down on it. The reason I do this is the baking paper sticks to the bottom. And when it comes to cleaning up after dinner, you just peel the baking paper off and the tray is pretty clean. Now, I'll start this off pretty easily. A couple of garlic cloves, I want them big and chunky and I'll throw them straight onto the tray. I've got some red capsicum here and this is elephant red capsicum. Looks like a big elephant's nose and I cut this into big chunks here. And as you can see, I'm cutting them on an angle so I get big points and that makes a really nice shape. Turn it over like that and throw it straight onto the tray. Now you can use just about any vegetables that you have in your pantry, your fridge or even your garden. Some red onion, I cut them into little pieces and you can see I leave the core on it and that means the onion will hold together beautifully. And you can see we've got some lovely colours here. As Priya likes to talk about, lots of rainbows are good and we know that we need to feed those little kids lots of vegetables. I know they complain about it but you need to make sure that they have a balanced diet. Spread them around like that. These are lovely little potatoes and I'll cut them in half because I want everything to cook at the same time. So once you've cut them in half like that, straight onto the tray. Now I have some cauliflower here and because the cauliflower is a softer vegetable, I'm leaving it a little bit larger. Now of course we're using some really nice chicken. This is air chilled chicken which means it stays nice and moist and tasty. One of the things you'll see is I've left a little bone on here, it's called the Kiev cut and I like to leave the skin on as well. The skin is really important for me because it helps to keep it nice and moist. I snuggle it onto the tray and spread it around so that as the chicken cooks, it starts to pick up the flavour of the vegetables as well. And you're thinking, Richo, where's the salt? Well, we'll get to that one in a second. Before we put the salt on here, I'm gonna show you my little seasoning mix. I've got some dried ginger here, some cumin, some coriander. This is my secret seasoning mix. And if you want the recipe, you have to go to goodchefbadchef.com and download the recipe. Once you've got all the spices on here, I give them a little bit of a jiggle around like this and mix them around with my fingers so they all come together. Now, if you've got little kitties, you might wanna just use a little bit of this, but I find when you add a bit of spice to it, it gives gives it a different flavour and roasting it in the oven will bring out all the flavour of these spices. We need to have some salt on here and as we know salt loves meat, meat loves salt and so do vegetables apparently. And on goes some pepper, good twist of pepper all the way around it like this. Now you must make sure that you preheat your oven at 200 degrees Celsius. So when this goes into the oven, it's nice and crisp. Drizzle some extra virgin olive oil around the outside here. That will make sure everything roasts up beautifully. And if you want to cut down on the oil, this spray is also great. You can spray some of that on and it covers everything nice and easily. This slots into the oven about 25 minutes. The chicken will be nice and golden. The veggies will be cooked all the way through. There is one complete, well-balanced meal here, ready to go in a few minutes. And for me, I like to finish it off with some chopped parsley over the top of it. Makes it look a million bucks. And this is the thing I love about a one-tray dish like this. Everything you need is on the same tray. And as it cooks, there's a little bit of juice on the bottom of it that makes it even more flavoursome, a few onions. You get everything in one tray and there's not much to clean up. Pop the chicken over there like that. And you're probably thinking, Richo, where's the sauce? Well, let me show you this here. Pick that up with a cloth and then just carefully pour that over the top there like that. You can see the juice is running out of it. And I know it's all about chicken, but I just want to show you the potato is cooked all the way through. And when you mash it down like that, it actually soaks up the juices like a sponge. Mm exactly what you want. Lots of chicken flavour in there, which is what I love, and lots of vegetable flavour as well. Now, I want to show you the chicken. This is the reason I cook the chicken with the skin on. I'll take a little piece off the side here. You can see that's moist and juicy, and cooking the chicken with the skin on helps to keep it moist. It's a little pro tip. Mm. This is a great little dish. Put in the oven, all on one tray, pop it in the middle of the table, and let the kids fight over it. You know, a dish like this, covers all your food groups, quick and easy to put together. All you need to think about now is maybe some dessert. Mm.